Hello friends, this is Aditya and you are watching Electric Vehicles India. Friends, welcome back to EV News. In this video, let's discuss some of the interesting news and latest updates from our EV industry. So, let's get started. Friends, first news is from Ola. On this August 15, Ola conducted a customer day event. I made a dedicated video on this. If you missed that video, the links are in the description. Please go ahead and watch. Now let's discuss the highlights and pricing of the newly launched Ola electric scooters. Currently, Ola offers five electric models in its lineup and they are updated Ola S1 Pro, Ola S1 Air and three variants in Ola S1 X series. Talking about the Gen 2 Ola S1 Pro, this priced at an extra room cost of 1.48 lakh rupees. So it's 8,000 expensive than the older variant. So these variants get some updates like uh, they have removed the bump on the footboard. They added telescopic suspension in the front and they replaced the rear grab rails. So the 1.48 lakh extra room cost is a bit expensive for this Ola S1 Pro. They totally upgraded this Ola S1 Pro into the premium category and the next scooter is Ola S1 Air this price at an extra room cost of 1.2 lakh rupees previously they gave 10,000 rupees discount till August 15 now this Ola S1 Air is priced at 1.2 lakh rupees extra room for this 1.2 lakh rupees you will get 100 to 110 kilometers real range and the next variant is Ola S1 X Plus this price at an extra room cost of 1.1 lakh rupees you will get all the connectivity features but you won't get any touch screen display in this Ola s1 x series and the next one is ola s1 x i found this electric scooter is somewhat affordable and value for money this gets 2.9 kilowatt hour battery same as ola s1 air and we can expect a real range of 100 to 110 kilometers in this you won't get any connected features and touch screen display in this ola s1 x and the last variant is ola s1 x 2 kilowatt hour this scooter gets 2 kilowatt hour battery pack we can expect a real range of 75 to 80 kilometers in this and the X showroom cost is 90,000 rupees. So these are all the five electric scooters available in Ola lineup right now. You will get 10,000 rupees discount on the Ola S1 X series if you pre-book these electric scooters by end of this week. And next, they introduced some cool features in Mo OS 4.0 and at last, they introduced their upcoming electric bikes. Totally, four electric bikes is going to debut from Ola Electric. These bikes may be launched by the end of 2024. Friends, next news is from TVS. On this August 23rd, TVS is going to launch a new electric scooter in the market. This event is going to be in Dubai and I think TVS is going to launch its Creon electric scooter. So TVS released some teasers about this upcoming electric scooter. By combining all those teasers, I am expecting exactly TVS Creon electric scooter. This electric scooter gets a big touchscreen display in which we are going to get a customizable theme option. We'll get to know the complete details on this upcoming electric scooter on August 23rd 9.15 pm. Friends, next news is from Aether Energy. On August 11th, Aether introduced new electric scooter into the market. We can't say these as new electric scooters because they relaunched their old electric scooters once again. Now, Aether has a total of three models in their lineup and they are Aether 450S, Aether 450X and Aether 450X top end variant. While talking about the Aether 450S, this gets a 2.9 kWh battery pack. We can expect a real range of 85 km and 90 km top speed and and the extra room cost of this Aether 450S is 1.3 lakh rupees. If you want connectivity features, you have to pay 13,000 extra to get Pro Pack in this. So Aether is looting the amount from their customers in this Pro Pack name. They could have included these features in the extra room cost itself, but they are charging extra money to give extra features. And the next variant is Aether 450X. We'll get 2.9 kilowatt hours same as Aether 450S in this. We can expect a real range of 80 kilometers and 90 kilometer top speed. And the extra room cost of this Aether 450S 2.9 kilowatt hour battery pack is 1.38 lakh rupees. And if you want connectivity features, you have to pay 16,000 extra for this. And the third variant is Aether 450 
350X top end variant. You will get a 3.7 kilowatt hour battery pack, 120 kilometers of real range, and 90 kilometer hour top speed. And guess what? The extra room cost of this top end variant is 1.45 lakh rupees without any connectivity features. If you need those connectivity features, you have to pay 23,000 extra. The effective extra room cost of this Aether 450X top end variant is 1.68 lakh rupees. Day by day, Aether is becoming expensive and it's going a long way from affordable price range. So Aether should launch a new variant with new design with new theme in affordable price segment. Then only they can survive in this tough competition. What's your thoughts on this? Please let me know in the comments. Friends, next news is from Mahindra. Mahindra organized a global event on August 15. I made a dedicated video on this yesterday. If you missed this video, links are in the description and here in iCards. So Mahindra have shared most of their upcoming plans in this event. Mahindra mentioned the status of their upcoming electric cars. The first electric car from their new Ingo platform is going to debut in 2024 December and the remaining four electric cars will come in 2025. And they introduced the Tar EV concept. So the design and the body language of this electric Thar is mind-blowing. This Thar electric may debut in Indian market by 2025 end or in 2026. Friends, next news is from Simple Energy. No, no, this is not a delivery update. Simple Energy has trademarked a new name and the name called Simple Dot One. This indicates the Simple Energy is planning to launch a new electric scooter and the electric scooter name is going to be Simple Dot One. So what's your thoughts on this? Please let me know in the comments. This scooter may come in affordable price range. It may offer a range of 140 to 160 kilometers. I think Simple Energy is planning to remove those portable battery which they are offering in Simple One. And they may launch the new variant as Simple Dot One without the portable battery pack and with 140 to 160 kilometers range. And the price may be between uh, 1.3 lakh to 1.35 lakh rupees. Friends, next news is from Central Government. Earlier, Central Government has ordered four companies, Ola, TVS, Aether and Hero Vida to refund the charger amount which they build separately to their customers. So as government ordered, these four companies agreed to refund the charger amount to the customers. A total of 305 crores should be refunded to customers by these four companies. So guess what? Till now, only 10 crores has been refunded to customers by these four companies. So remaining 295 crores should be refunded to their customers so when central government asks the companies what's the reason to delay this process the companies are saying that we don't have the bank statement details of our customers i found this as a silly reason because the companies will have the whole data of their customers and it's easy to demand or to take the bank details of their customers none of the customers will need to give their bank account details when companies say that we are going to refund the charger amount to you so company is playing a very smart move over here companies are slowing down this process thinking that central government will forget this issue and they can save these crores of money so how many of you received the charger refund amount please let me know in the comments Friends, last news is from Tata Motors. Tata Motors has recently completed 1 lakh electric car sales milestone. They started their electric journey in 2018 and guess what? In past 9 months itself, they sold close to 50,000 electric cars. Starting from 2018, in 3 years, they sold 50,000 cars and this past 9 months itself, they sold 50,000 electric cars. So previously, Tata used to sold 100 electric cars per month and now they are selling 10,000 electric cars per month. So Tata has a huge lineup which are going to launch in our Indian market in electric segment. So I think in next two years, no company is going to beat Tata in terms of electric car sales. So how many of you using or willing to buy this Tata electric cars? Please let me know in the comments. So friends, these are some of the latest news and interesting updates from our EV industry. What's your thoughts on this video? Please let me know in the comments. And if you found the video helpful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe Electric Vehicles India. Go green, go electric.